There's nothing like a night at Patriots Point for members of the regiment. I sit in the supporter section because I want to be loud. Supporter Dell Schaffer has backed the Charleston Battery since the club's early days when he was growing up on the Isle of Palms. It was very local to me. A couple of the players uh, lived on my street and they spent some time around with me as a kid kicking around. Your flags don't make any noise. It's the same for Shayla Lawrence, who was taught from a young age that supporting your local club was a must. It's just over the time, the more you come, the more you feel welcomed. More people in Charleston are getting in on the action. According to the United Soccer League, the battery's attendance increased 13% in 2021 from 2020, and the future is bright. I would say our expectations overall in terms of season tickets are, are on path like everything else. Right? It's not a club that's going to you know, have 5,000 season ticket holders tomorrow. The bonds of friendship built in the stands don't end at the final whistle. And so it's been very, very enriching for me to help people that I know. Schaffer's job as a realtor means that he's helped some of his football family find a place to raise battery fans of the future. Schaffer helped Lawrence buy a home in 2019. He made it very easy. It was nice to know somebody in the industry that I became friends with. With the battery as a meeting place, the fans support the team, then support each other. So for me, it's a lot bigger than selling a house or helping someone buy a house. It's a, it's a longer investment, longer relationship. Now, the battery is also an asset for Charleston's businesses and charities. In part two of this story, coming up next week, I hear from the American Cancer Society and Coastal Crust on how they both benefit from being a part of the black and yellow family. Reporting at Patriots Point, I'm Forrest Tucker. Count on two.